boss. This is Tommy. There's somebody here who might just interest you. Chase him. Bartender, whiskey and ice. Who are you, Chico? I ain't seen you here before. For the last few hours, I've been called Chaser. Same name as the guy on TV. Actually, I'm sort of afraid the TV guy and me might be one and the same person. My memory only goes back a few minutes. The only thing I remember is landing on this barrack, and then these pathetic beggars, uh... Well, you came to the right person. Nobody knows more about this slum than old Mike Gomez. I could tell you a few things, but not here. Follow me, Chico. A little paranoia never hurts, especially if the family's breathing down your neck. Remember that, Chico. Whatever you do in Montag City, watch out for the number six. You never know where some Sonny from the family is beating around. So you're something like the black sheep of the family? Why don't you turn your back on them and go your own way? Well, yeah. If it was my choice, I'd be long gone. But the family isn't very enthusiastic if some son decides to go his own way. We all got this small metal beast implanted inside us, called a spider. If we get too far from the city, the spider explodes. Can't you get rid of it somehow? Too many secrets at once, Chico. The only thing you need is my advice. Turn around, make a break for it through that door and don't stop till you see the first palm trees. Get out of this city as fast as you can and while you still can. But what do you mean, I... Hear me, Chaser. You are the perfect candidate for a spider. And if you don't split this popsicle joint, there's a probability close to a certainty that you'll get one. the chaser in person. It's my honor to welcome such a celebrity to my humble abode. We had a Ralph Nader double here recently, but nobody recognized him. Whereas you, Mr. Chaser, were recognized even by Tommy. This isn't happening. Don't be so simple, Mr. Chaser. Your fame and price increase with every news report. Murders, hijackings, and now, Majestic. Man, you are a gift from heaven. War with Yakuza is about to start, and a guy with your skills can only be useful to us. It sounds like I don't have much choice. Follow me. Full anesthetic state reached. Blood pressure stabilized. Heart rate regular. No signs of abnormal activity. Rain waves in Marble Delta. Subject prepared for operation.
Mr. Chaser. Your reaction to the implantation of the spider was... was quite abnormal. I think that's the way to put it. For a while there, we thought we were gonna lose you. But it came out okay in the end. Welcome to the family. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Don't leave the city. The item in your neck can cause some... trouble. From now on, you gotta be damn careful. The spider has something like a switch. If you try to go against Valero, or commit some other hot-blooded stupidity, he can blast you. What should I do according to you? The point is to keep quiet and do whatever they want from you. After a few successful jobs, they'll leave you in peace. Then there'll be time to get rid of the spider and Vamoose out of the city. And now get up, Chico, and follow me. They're expecting us in the kitchen. Sit down and listen. We got a message that the Japs contacted somebody from the island. Somebody they call Big Dragon. His presence in Montex City can imbalance the scale to our disadvantage. This building is our target. From the third floor of this barrack, you've a wonderful view of the flat where the Japs will meet the man from the islands. The good news is that they're just removing debris from the falling majestic. The bad news is that it belongs to Yakutsa. Repair work is going on around the clock, workers are there by night, and even worse, there is security. This is a big problem. If they find out they're wired, the whole mission will bust wide open. It's got to be done without a single shot. Mr. Chaser will sneak in and by means of this facility find out what Agawa is preparing. How do I get inside and how can I orient myself afterwards? Our building plans were supplied by the main engineer of the construction company that's doing the repairs. Gomez will be in the car monitoring the position of your spider on the computer and will guide you if you need it. Can my exact position be monitored using the spider? Only for a short distance. The spider's signal isn't strong enough for us to locate you in HQ during the whole mission, which is why I gotta come with you. But a signal for your spider to explode, I can send all the way to Alaska. Got that? So if you have no further questions, then go. Okay, here we are. Do you see the house? That one with the scaffolding next to it? Yeah, I see it. That's your target. The actual meeting will take place in apartment 35 in the opposite building, which means the best place for wiring the two will be the bathroom or Ogawa's workroom on the second floor. Don't make any noise and watch out that nobody spots you. You copy? I'm not deaf. I hope not. We didn't find out how many security cameras are in the house, but we know they're not infra, so you'll be able to play hide and go seek in the dark if you have to. There should be four security guys, but if my guess is right, two of them are slackers. The other two will be at the house. I assume the only route is through the side entrance around the two slackers. Yeah, that's right. I don't think they'll be leaving the main entrance open during the night. I'll see you on the locator. Once you get close to the door from the other side, I'll distract their attention. Okay. If you get lost inside the building, I'll call you and give you directions. So you got all the necessary information. Now it's up to you. Oh yeah, and one more thing. If I hear any alarm, any shooting, or you get more than 300 meters away from me, you got three seconds to pray. You're a funny guy. A real barrel of laughs. Just remember what I'm telling you.
I'll take a look. You stay here. Now, Chico, go for it.
security. Well, don't wake him up. Left to the end of the corridor. Move, we're almost there. So, Ogawa-san, you wanted to talk to us. We need your help. A few years ago, the whole city was at our feet. We controlled the police, the mayor, and even the senate. Our business was going well. Montag City was booming, and it was truly a jewel of the north. The percentage of our taxes transferred to the islands was the basis for the current immense power of the big dragon. The big dragon does not forget, Okawa-san. Yes, thank you. Five years ago, after the big fire, all our power vanished in a smoke from the ruins of a little Tokyo. Overnight, we lost practically everything we had been building for years. The entire district was reduced to ashes. And then, we were on our knees and pressed under the earth. Hector Valero emerged here and took over most of our activities. I believe that it was he and his people who were behind the fire. Are you not overestimating Valero's power? The fire started in dozens of places at the same time. It was hell. Firestorms in the streets. Hundreds of people simply evaporated. I survived an earthquake in Los Angeles in 2145 when We're the whole them. city crumbled the into the sea. I can't this locate them from here. Worse. Get to the workroom. I'll navigate you from there. Go back to the corridor via the room. Go left to the end and then via the big door.
Hey, who the hell are you? Men, we have an intruder. Okay. Get over here. Sorry. Goodbye, Chico. that his friend from Mars helped him with it. You don't believe the Martian connection theory, do you? I do not know what I should believe. How else could he deprive the big dragon of his city overnight? And now John Chaser reputedly works for him. Chaser? But he on the other side. This contradict whole theory of Martian connection. I'd rather suspect Stone or Thornton. Chaser? Get out of there. They've located you. Valero? I thought this was Mike's frequency. It was. Get out of there. The cops will be on top of you any minute. Don't force me to use the spider. Get out. Chaser, you can't leave the building the way you came in. I can see people from Ogawa Security returning to the building. Terrific. Calm down. There's an open window in the room next to the bathroom. I can see it from here. What, are you kidding? Good. You want me to jump from the window? That's right. Just underneath it is some scaffolding you can use to climb down. transmitter. I don't know. All of a sudden, Valero was on your frequency and told me to get the hell out. And just when the Japs were starting to come out with some interesting dirt on him... So it really stinks, eh, Chico? Did you pick up any info? Yeah. Ogawa said that Valero had something to do with some Martian connection. Do you know what that is? Martian connection? <laughs> a couple of guys believe that the Mars Corps Company, or its president, the Honorable Mr. Longwood, is the capo to duty capo of several large criminal organizations here on Earth, and has been funding illegal projects of the company from their profits. Illegal projects? It's a conspiracy theory. There's a rumor that the company has been holding back on the terraformation of Mars so the money can flow into other illegal projects. Under the table, Mars Corps is supposedly doing experiments on people, clones, on alterations to the human mind. A huge amount of money is needed for all this, and the fight against Castor and his rebels is not free of charge. But you know something about that. About Castor? Sorry, Chico. I keep forgetting about your memory. 
Commander Castor and his militant band, the New Age Messiah, fighting for the freedom of Mars. Chaser? Did anything happen? I don't know. I had some visions. What do you mean, visions? You been doing drugs, Chico? If Valero finds out you're using, he'll put you on ice. No. No, I'm clean. The first one happened when they were stuffing this spider in my head. I saw a man in black, a commander of some squad before the action. I think it was Stone. The guy the two Japs mentioned. Could be something from my past. Memories. I don't know, Chico. I'll ask a couple of people what they think about it and let you know. But stay out of Valero's sight so he doesn't catch you when you pass out next time. This is the biggest and last water treatment station in MC. The only source of clean water in the city. Half an hour ago, it was in our hands. And that's the reason you're here. Who's behind it? This attack was the work of the Raiders, an armed band controlling the black market on smuggled iceberg water. The first results of video analysis show that they brought a large number of barrels for the transport of chemicals. They probably got hold of the waterworks with the aim of contaminating the source. We suspect their goal is to acquire the monopoly for drinking water from icebergs to gain the power over the city that we currently hold. So we have to strike immediately. The waterworks has only one entrance from the north. Sanchez and Franklin, you take the sniper rifles and climb up there. From there you'll cover our people, is that clear? Vaughn, you lead the entry team. Teams Alpha and Bravo will follow you. The aim is the elimination of all raider units and securing of the waterworks area. The barrels with the chemicals represent a huge hazard. Under no, repeat, under no circumstances can they go in the water. We don't know what they contain and we can't afford any risk. The waterworks must be secure as soon as possible and operational, is that clear? Then move out! Get moving! <laughs> 